A few years ago, I made a joke on a dare about snakes lactating and feeding their babies through their snutters with snilk. Well, it actually turns out new research shows that snilk is real. I'm not kidding. This is ridiculous, but it was a thing. Four years ago, I made a whole joke about snakes and their snutters and snilk, and we brought on this doctor that has long since moved away and it was a whole thing. So it turns out that there is a creature that is an amphibian, not a snake. So I don't mean to clickbait you, like just be honest with you, that does lactate and feed its babies in the same way that a mammal does with a substance that is technically milk. Sicilians are these amazing and adorable amphibian species that look a little bit like earthworms, but they're not. They look almost like a snake and an earthworm made a baby. They have a full mouth. They have eyes that barely work. They do not really have true limbs, so to speak. And there are many different species, but there is one species that they found very interesting characteristics and behaviors. This Sicilian species, which is from Argentina and different parts of South America, it was found that in their burrows, the small babies, which the mother gives birth to, and they were eating the mother's skin, which seems not to bother her. And this is kind of a weird thing in and of itself. Although there are other species such as crocodile skinks, monkey tail skinks, where the baby will actually eat the feces of the mother. This specific amphibian species, the young are eating the skin of the mother, but it takes about a week to regenerate. So these animals have way too much energy, the babies, to be only eating once a week. So what else could they be eating? What the nutrition is coming from, what the energy is coming from is a milk-like substance from the mother. It turns out when they put the cameras inside of the nest, they picked up all these babies going mostly towards the tail of the mother where you'd find snutters. I don't know, they're amphibians, not snakes, but you get the idea. And these babies go around the bottom of this animal and start to work their way up to where the udders or snutter, there's really no technical name for it yet. This is a pretty new thing that they discovered. And they're what they're doing is they're sucking on what is its lipids and its sugars, lipids being fats. So it technically counts as milk, although it's not the exact same as mammal milk. And we know that there are variations of rules. For example, mammals, we all know, give birth to live young. Well, unless you're a monotreme, you're an echidna or you're a duckbill platypus. So there are exceptions to the rule because those of all the animals on earth, just those two species of mammal lay eggs, monotremes. So you've got to think if this is something that we found in this amphibian, is it possible that other amphibians also show these characteristics? And this breaks away from a lot of amphibian and reptile species. And that's, and I know that the people who are heavy into science will mention amphibians and reptiles really aren't even that close. I agree, but I'm still a hobbyist and in the hobby, they go together. So for example, most snake species, when the babies are born, they just go out on their own, that's it. Same thing with amphibians. Most amphibians, once they're born, that's it. Now, of course, there are differences, right? Ufaga dart frogs, for example. The mom would have to lay eggs in a, in a spot for the ufaga to eat. Ufaga in Latin means egg eater, egg, they're egg obligates. They have to eat other eggs of their own species. So basically they're unborn siblings that aren't fertilized. So there are examples, but this is something else. This is a mother they're literally taking care of the babies. Of course, we know in birds, birds will, in many species anyway, go out and find prey items, bring it back to the nest for their young. So we just found this out about a species we've known about for a long time. So that raises the question, is it possible that something similar could happen with reptiles? No, go, no, get. Come on, I thought you went home for the summer. Sup, up, bud? Okay, yeah, come on. Yeah, take a seat, sit down. Tell the people what you want to hear. I'm here to give the people what they want. The truth is out. So it's been about four years since we got together. What uh, would you like to, yep, go, for, yep. Sup, bud? Long time no see, eh? Great, you, uh, you've been busy or what do you, you, what have you been up to? Well, I'm so glad you asked there, by. Let me tell you something. Big Reptile has really been cracking down on me. I had to go in the witness protection program. I'm from Edmonton originally. I had to go hide in a little bit of a cesspool called Calgary, let me tell you. The hockey team cannot win a gosh darn game to save their lives, but let me tell you something, okay? I've been toiling in the fields behind Joe's house since the last time I saw ya. I've been running my mouth at my own expense. I've been running, I've been telling, I've been running through the fields, running my mouth, running from the government, running from child support. I've been doing a whole bunch of running, uh, don't you know? And I'll tell you one thing right now, the things that you said to me back in the day by saying, oh no, there's no such thing as snilk. Oh, the snakes aren't suckling on the snutters and the sneets. Well, what does this look like to you? 
A big cover-up by Big Reptile. Now they have to admit it because Dr. Fexneck came out and told the truth about everything. Oh, bye, bud. Have I been busy? Let me tell you one thing. I've been working on all Big Reptile, my number one thing. But also a top secret pickle brand. Let me tell you, I love them vinegary cucumbers. Would you like it? Ladies? No, uh, of course. Of course you... Okay. Oh, yeah, bud. Always. So this is obviously exciting news about this brand new amphibian species that we've actually known about for quite a while. Were you involved or instrumental in any way in finding the truth about this species? Oh buddy, if it wasn't for me, I was out there in the field toiling. 24 hours a day, sometimes both seven, eight days a week, I'll tell you one thing. But if you're going by the Gregorian calendar, I'll tell you. And every day I'm out there looking for things out behind Joe's house, behind the barn there. I knew this from day number one. I knew that this would be not a problem to show the world what I already knew. Because for me, it's all about the money to prove so I can go and buy my family the things that they deserve. It's all about bread for me. People say I'm inbred, but really I'm in bread. All about that money. And they say it was Dr. Whatchamu, who's it? Dr. Anthony. Tony Oz. Antonanoli, Canoli, Abrababoli, I don't know what your name was. But at the end of the day, it was because of me and me alone. But I did find them down in the borough there, back in uh, back home there. You know, we know you got you're from Western Canada, but where was this discovery made exactly? I don't care what they say, I'm telling you one thing right now, they flock to me. You know, sometimes uh, when the kitty cats smell uh, the tuna. Or uh, meow whisk, whatever, I don't know, they come towards you. When I start talking about snilk and snutters and trying to prove everybody a big reptile, show them all of the amphibians, the snakes, the snutters, the sneets, anything snilk producing comes towards me. Great, I think that about covers it. Is there anything else you want to... Uh... As a matter of fact, there is something I would like to say to all of you. No matter what you think about the snutters, the snilks, the sneets, snilk is real. And don't forget, if somebody says to you, this is not real, but your eyes say that it's real, you see the snakes suckling on the sneets and the snutters. All you have to do is go to the link below, type in code, got snilk, and you get 10% off my merch. I know it looks like this guy, but I'll tell you what, it's me. We're not, no relation whatsoever. Yep, you heard the man. Link in the description. Got Snilk 10% off until uh, next weekend. Thanks for coming. All right, see ya. Hopefully in four years or more, maybe. Well, that was fun. I mean, I didn't want to make this a full April Fool's Day thing. I wanted to give you some actual information. And I think this is pretty interesting. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you want to see more videos like this where we cover things that you might not have heard of in recent news, things like that, like we did with Titanoboa a few weeks ago, and then maybe some skits, one or the other, both. Let me know in the comment section. As always, please hit like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. And of course, that uh, promo is got snilk if you want 10% off any thing on the store link in the description and that's it as always patreon thank you guys so much you guys get an added discount on merch every day of the week and you get one-on-ones and all that and more for as little as a dollar a month i do videos on mondays and thursdays so we'll see you in the next one